Hey guys, Ricky Lock here, back once again. I hope everyone's having a great day as always. And uh, just a quick shop update for you guys today. Um, well, I say quick. I should probably not uh, not say that. <laughs> Famous last words, right? But yeah, I just want to share some new tools that I got and a few uh, projects that I've been working on. Um, I'll start off with this. This is a new vise that I got. Um, so you can see here it it's the kind of vice that has to be clamped on the side of a table which uh, normally I, I don't like these style of vices but um, this one's an ex exception because uh, even though it has to be clamped oh wrong way genius even though it has to be clamped on the uh, side of a table um, it still can be rotated and uh, or swiveled and it also can be uh, rotated here the head has uh, two vice jaws and you can use it anywhere in between too so yeah I didn't buy it with the intention of lock picking or using it for lock picking but uh, it to me it looks like it would work great for that I'd have to try it out for a while but uh, yeah it seems like it would uh, do pretty good for that in fact this is the same, I don't know if you guys remember Kokomo Lock, this is the same vise that he used. Um, the only difference being he uh, he cut his right here, he cut the uh, the clamp part off of it and he uh, bolted it down to, uh, I think I remember him saying that it was a, um, a piece for a TV mount he bolted it down to, so it had a bigger base, he could put it anywhere on his desk and it wouldn't tip over and it didn't have to be clamped onto the side of his desk so um, I may do that I may not really if I if I had a welder and stuff I would just get a piece of uh, dom tubing and uh, drawn over mandrel tubing and put a thread in it and uh, make a bigger base for it because yeah this is made pretty uh, pretty simply so if I had a tubing like that and with a bigger base or like I said I could just cut that off but anyway um, I may try it out for lock picking but I'll probably stick with this one this will be great for for any filing jobs or yeah anything that a vice is made for to hold things <laughs> so that's that um, yeah I feel a pretty good deal on that too Next uh, tool, I have just a simple uh, hammer here. It's uh, what they call, well, from the place I got it, they call it a hobby hammer. And it has a uh, brass side and maybe, uh, I don't know, Delrin or, I don't know, Teflon? I'm not quite sure. Don't know my materials that well. But uh, I've been looking for one of these for a while. They were out of stock forever and they recently got some, so finally I uh, bought one. And it was on on uh, on sale too. Um, next from that store, trying to rush through this. Uh, the last two items might take up some time. I finally got some uh, letter and number stamps. Um, I have I had some before, but they were pieces of crap from Amazon. They were really soft. Uh, I got that one set that has a uh, um, like an automatic center punch that takes these um, hex numbers these are square by the way um, and yeah they expect you to, to use that automatic center punch to, to stamp numbers and there's no way in hell that that would work in, in metal anyway so piece of crap set so I finally got these and uh, they should work pretty good I should add too that this this hammer would not be good enough to stamp these numbers I want to get a a heavier hammer for these, maybe like a two two pound, three two and a half pound hammer. Um, I think that's it for the tools. Oh, well, this is a tool, but it's a something I made. Um, yeah, I was kind of inspired by Paul's video the other day to to try my hand at some impressioning. So, um, went and grabbed my vice grips and realized that they're way too big for for uh, using as a grip so I uh, 
quick and dirty made this one up. Just took a, an old screwdriver. It was about this long. Cut off the magnetic part at the, at the end. Um, cut a slot into it. Drilled a couple holes. Tapped them, and uh, keys in there. Pretty damn sturdy. I don't think it's going to last forever. Let's see how it's bending, but uh, it should last me enough to do a couple impressions, and hopefully I'll find a, a better screwdriver handle to to make one out of something a bit beefier. Um, so that's about it, except for this last uh, project that I've been uh, working on. So with the help of Paul, I finally got uh, measurements for the template for these uh, 570 mortise locks. And this has been something I've been wanting to do forever now. I just kept putting off and putting off, but with all the extra time lately, I figure there's uh, no better time to, to do it. And uh, still have a couple holes to drill. I'm going to wait until I uh, get the spindle to do that. But uh, for now, I'm really, really happy with the way this thing's turning out. Um, so, Paul, if you're watching, so the templates that you you gave me were very helpful in uh, finding like the size of holes and stuff like that. But one thing that they were kind of lacking in was uh, let's hope this works. Like, I think this was actually the template. So great for finding the size of holes, but it doesn't show like, shows the back set, doesn't show um, the height of them in relation to like the top of the, the lock, for example. But uh, as you can see here, that didn't, didn't really matter because I got a pretty damn good, pretty damn good fit around the, uh, the oval there. I'm that's my main concern. I wanted I know you can you can have quite a big gap around here, and the ex uh, discussion would still cover it. But I I kind of a uh, um, perfectionist. I wanted it to to be really nice, and I'm really happy with that. The only thing I have to do is uh, drill the hole for the spindle. And actually, one thing that wasn't on that template. Sorry. One thing that wasn't on here was the the, uh, the holes um, beside the spindles. These uh, oh, these holes here. So I found another template which has them. And again, it, it doesn't show measurements, but it just gives me a good idea of uh, of how to start and and roughly where they go. And I'll probably just uh, measure from the uh, the lock set itself to uh, find those measurements. But uh, yeah, everything works good. And nice, nice fitment. The pins fit in good. Actually, that's a um, piece of a clothes hanger. This is the the real pin. I only have one of them. But uh, yeah, everything fits in good. No fighting anything. Like I said, the only thing left to do is to drill the spindle hole and the holes for, for these two bolts. Actually, now that I think about it, Paul, um, if you have uh, extra bolts for these, or maybe you can give me an idea of what, what they look like. Um, yeah, I'm assuming screw head on one side and the hex on the out, would be on the outside of the door, so... Yeah, the person wouldn't be able to take them off. You would only be able to take them off from the inside. So that's the only thing I, I'm waiting on on these. And again, Paul, I don't mean to rush you in any way. Take your sweet-ass time. I'm not in a rush for this at all, and uh, I don't want to rush you. But <clears throat> maybe you could uh, include some of these bolts if you have them uh, with the spindle kit. That would be great. Um, again, don't want to rush you, don't want to bug you, take take your time buddy, no rush at all. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with the way this is turning out. Um, just uh, actually about to put a coat of paint on the base and uh, actually I'll probably wait till I'm done to glue the base on or to screw the base on. 
but yeah, really, uh, really pleased with that. It's going to be cool to have a display for this really, really nice lock. Thinking of putting, uh, I have a couple high security, uh, ovals, maybe an abloy, maybe, uh, could put a bylock, I could put a, um, what's called Kaba, but I'm pretty damn sure I'm going to put a thumb turn on the inside. At least for now, I could switch it up when, when I want to. But uh, I think that's uh, pretty much it. Um, you know me, I could keep blabbering on forever, so I have to uh, have to cut myself off at some point. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, as always, appreciate your support, and hope everyone's uh, doing their part and um, staying inside and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll I'll be here. I'll still be making videos and uh yeah i'll see you guys on the next video take care